This video is brought to you by Card Empire. If you're looking for Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, or Magic of the Gathering, this is the place to be. Who what's up, people? Dobbs Wars is right here, and welcome to another Yu-Gi-Oh pack opening. And before we start, please check out where's the paper gone? Where's the paper gone? Where's the paper gone? Oh, the paper's gone everywhere. There it is. Please check out Card Empire, the place to be in Manchester, Stockport and Liverpool. And today, we are opening up a set that I have not even opened up yet on my channel. And it's been out for pretty much a year. And that is Dual Overlord. Or Overload, whatever you want to call it. I do not know why I have pretty much stayed away from this set. I do not know why. Probably I was just too damn busy with the different type of pack opens I've been doing. And I accidentally forgot it. Naughty me, naughty me, because this set is actually really, really good. Because you got classics from the Cyber Dragon set, you have the Relinquished cards. There's just lots of amazing cards in this, and of course, a very sought after card that a lot of people were after from the very beginning of this set. But I don't have a clue what the price are of these cards anymore now. They might not be worth anything. They may be worth a lot. But either way. We've got ourselves 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We've got 10 packs right here. So pretty much two cases, I think. You know, two boxes of sealed stuff. Fair enough. Anyway, thanks to Card Empire for breaking them up for me. Just so I can get them without buying all the cardboard. Let's stop jibber jabbering. They're all holographic. So let's see what we can pull. Now, let me just have a look. They are all ultra rare cards. So probably the... Price will pop up randomly as ever if you see anything pricey. So we'll probably have to go a little bit slow in this. So we got Tour Guide from the Underworld. Very nice. Blackwing Zafia the Elite. It's a classic as well. A lot of people use this card. We got Herald of M Magic... Um, Mari... Mirage? Mirage Lights? Dude! Phantasm Emperor Trilogy. And this is a card that you use in your Mythical Beast deck. That is nice. And we got Emma's Judgment. Okay. Now, I'm not sleeving these up right away because there is a lot of them. So I'll have to sleeve them up at the end of the video when I finish recording. But I'm sure the prices have been popping up. We got um, Graveyard of Wondering Souls. Very nice. We've got Super Vehicle Roid Stealth Union. Number 27, the Dreadnought Dreadnoid. Nice. Now, like I said, people, the, will, the prices will pop up if the price is actually worth mentioning. So if it's like around about 50 cents or 50, 50, or from like maybe 95p to maybe about $100, definitely I'll be putting the price up for it. We've got Double Evolution Pill. Got Cubic Dahamia. Sweet. So, probably there's going to be a lot, a lot of kachingin in this video, so make sure you're prepared for that. <laughs> we got um, Maduli, Madu, Madulish uh, Puddingus Chocolate a la Mode. I do not know if this card is actually worth the most. I do not know. If it is, that's amazing. We got Dangerous Frightful Knight. Mary, oh my god, it's an it's a Frightford card. Wow, that looks sinister. Look at that. Wow. We got Speedroid Marble Machine. Great, Speedroids are back. And um, Mathlic Tune, and the Cubics are back as well. Okay, that's one thing I do not want to see: Cubic cards. I hate the Cubics. I never really was interested in them at all. So I don't really want them. We got um, Starving Venomy Leather Dos Dragon. That looks sick, that does. We got uh, Raid Raptor Wise Strix. Nice, we got the Ancient of Ascended. Good card. Synchro Transcend. And a classic card. This is nice. The Last Warrior of Another Planet. This came out way back in like 2002. It's a classic card, it's great to have a reprint of it. Absolutely 100% badass. Now, sadly to say that some of these cards are a tiny bit warped. 
But don't worry, you can use a heavy book or anything just to flatten them. It's perfectly fine. We got Scrap um, Authorus. We got Bird of Sovereign Tree. We got Alien Shock Trooper M Frame. Great, Alien cards are coming back. Why, I do not know. We got Dark Algorithm Dragon. Okay. Still don't have a clue how much these cards are worth, but I'm sure they'll pop up on the screen down below, like I said. But this is the card I want. I want that Relinquish card. That's all I really want from this set. Oh, Parshaft. I didn't know this card was in this set. The Crystal Knight Lord Parshaft. That is nice. We've got Card of Fate. Another Dragon. We've got Swamp Frog. Not bad. And the Magical Musketeer Casper. Sweet. It feels like, because there's there is a hundred ultra rares in this set, so it's a massive set. But I still have a feeling that uh, that Willinquish card is the most hardest card to find. Got extra hero, Imperial Divisor. We got the Wise Strikes again. Nice, we got Emerald, which used to be a very expensive card back in the day. A Malefic Selector and Card Fate again. Now, like I said, I may go past the same cards over and over again unless they actually do have a bit of money in them. But at this moment, I don't feel like any of these cards are worth a lot at all, which would be a bit of a shame. We've got Lib the World Key Blade Master, which looks like a nice card. Malefic uh, Paradox Gear. Is that for the Ancient Gears? No, no, it's for the Malefics. Okay. Val v Valvinity's Ruler. That's good. That's actually not bad at all. Love that card. It's a classic as well. Malefic Territory. Nice for your Malefics. Um, Flame Swordsman. Oh, a Flame Swordsman card. That's actually not bad, actually. Do not have a clue if it's worth anything, but it's good for Joey Wheeler's deck. I don't need to sleeve them up just yet. I'll sleeve them up when I finish the video. We've only got two packs left, and I'm starting to worry that we're not going to pull that card. Oh, we got one of the cover cards. We've got Star Striker Ace, Zeki. That's not bad. we got uh, Salamanga Almia. Not bad. Oh! Ojama Emperor! Oh, I am happy. I'm happy now. Ojama Emperor, I'm happy to have. That's good. Really good indeed for me. Uh, we have a Phoenix Gear. Another alien shock trooper. Final pack. What can we pull? We have ourselves the Violet Anaconda. We've got Bloss, the malicious composer. Another Tree Joy, nice. Another Miracle Light. And a Malefic Divide. We didn't pull the Willinquish card, which I'm sure probably might be the cheapest card, or it could be the most expensive card. I do not know. But whatever was in this collection, there might be at least maybe a $10 card. You do not know. I won't know until I do the editing or anything. But boy, I'm looking forward to see what I can, what I found in that set when I do look, up, look it all up. Anyhow... That's all i got time for today's episode. If you guys enjoyed it, I surely did. That is a lot of ultra rares to go into my collection. Some of them may go to Card Empire, depends on how many duplicates I've got. But if you guys haven't done it yet, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, comment down below. Check out Card Empire, the place to be in Manchester, Stockport and Liverpool. With that being said, the people I'm still going to see you guys subscribing. And I'll see you guys next time. Cheerio! Not bad. Not bad, Jewel Overload. Not bad at all. Still a bit of a bummer that not getting the relinquish. Well, you win some, you lose some. Never mind. Why that people like using it for grass? We got a reverse foil, uh, Sterny. Oh. oh my god! Secret Red Next Ball! Oh my goodness! I thought that was the Ultra Ball for a second, but it ain't, it's the Nest Ball. Oh, baby, wait a minute. One for the. Did I do? Oh. Oh. Oh! Oh my god! <laughs>